All right, hey guys, this is Mr. Capcom. This is uh, another quick review I wanted to do. Um, this is actually a review on a custom ROM that I have loaded on my phone. Uh, as you guys know, I usually put custom ROMs on the phones that I get. This is the Motorola Droid, and I'm actually running the, I think it's called the Bugless, the Bugless Beast by Pete over at alldroid.com. Um, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good ROM. He has a lot of custom features on it. One of the things I did like on it is you can overclock it. Um, I have it clocked at 550 by 800. So basically when I'm idling my phone, it runs at stock. Because the stock, the stock processor speed is 5, 550. And it can go up to 600 or you can overclock it past 600. Um, some people go up to like a gig or 900 megahertz, but I just left mine at 800. Like the stock speed is fine for me, but it's just nice to be able to um, overclock when I can. So let's take it out. Here's the, um, you can see the slide screen is different. This is actually um, 2.01 modified with the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with the um, five screens. Uh, so I got one two, three, and then you go over here, that's four, and that's five. Um, I have tons of widgets on my screen, um, and I don't really see that many slowdowns. I get a couple of force closes here and there, but I just think it's like a random bug that's something, like I, I have a lot of software installed on my machine, so I kind of get force closes that I think are my fault and not exactly the ROM's fault. Um, let's see what else we got on here. So right there, I have it overclocked at 800 max and 550 minimum. Um, there's not much else I can say about the ROM. I mean, the actual interface is real nice as far as like the tray, the stock tray, um, looks a lot better. Or I, I should say the stock tray, look, it looked good, but the new tray that they have looks, um, way more, um, I guess you could say sophisticated looks a lot better um this one actually fixes the problem with um if you would turn your phone sideways it would just like crazy flip i don't have my set because I, I usually the only time i flip it is when i um flip the keyboard up and that's it so um other than that it's a pretty quick rom i haven't really had any problems with it i'm running actually bugless b 7.4 i think it is or 7.6. I know they have to like 7.10 or 7.8. Um, but I'll probably flash that later on. But great ROM. I would definitely um, recommend anybody that, who wants to, you know, flash any ROMs or anything like that on their phone to go ahead and do it. Um, uh, just leave a comment at the bottom. Uh, if there's any other reviews or any other things you want me to um, answer or show on the actual phone. Um... I don't think there's anything else I can really show. Um, it does come with the wireless tether. Um, I have not tried that out yet. So if anyone has, just like let me know. Um, I'll mess around with it. I'm going to try to see if I can get my 360 to um, sync up with it and get online with that. Um, most of all the like, stock apps are removed. You can notice that there's no Amazon MP3 or anything like that. Um, but other than that, it's a nice clean ROM pretty fast haven't had any problems with it i would definitely um recommend everybody to go ahead and try it out uh if you want to root your phone um i don't know if i said it but you do have to root your phone to um get this to work all right so that's about it thanks for watching my review 